Hi everyone! In today's video, we're going to be talking about 5 tips on how to save more money every month. So if you're interested in this topic, stay tuned. Tip number one is budgeting. I know we've all heard about this before and it's not the most fun thing to do, but it's absolutely necessary in order to get your finances in check. If you don't budget every month, you could easily be losing money without even noticing every single month. When you start budgeting and you realize where you spend your money every single month, you'll realize if there are any categories where you're overspending based on your current finances. For example, before I budgeted, I realized that I was overspending on groceries. Once I did my budget, I realized how much money I was spending every single week on groceries. Groceries that many times I wasn't even eating because I was buying too much for the amount of people that were in my household, which at the time was only me, and I didn't have time to finish everything that I was purchasing at the store. Not only that, but I wasn't really looking at where I was buying my food. Most of the stuff I was purchasing at a bonds that was walking distance from my place at the time. And bonds around here at least, it's one of the most expensive grocery stores that you can go to, besides Whole Foods and those type of supermarkets. So once I sat down and did my budget and I cut down a lot of categories, I also reduced categories such as my food budget. Obviously, you cannot get rid of food expenses altogether, but it's good to see how much you're spending on each category. That way, you can really set a plan for yourself. Even if you don't reduce a category, at least you are acknowledging how much you're spending on it. And if you're fine with how much you're spending on each category and you can afford it, then that's fine. Even if you don't end up reducing any of your expenses, it's very good practice to know exactly how much money you're putting into every category of your lifestyle. The second most important tip to save more money every month is to cut your expenses. Earning more money starting tomorrow would be great for all of us and I'm pretty sure we would all be more than happy to take that. Unfortunately, it's easier said than done. So while you're still searching for that dream job that pays you what you deserve, you can start by cutting some expenses from your monthly budget. For example, once I did my budget for a year and I tracked every single dollar that I was spending, I realized how much money I was spending on clothing every month. It was a staggering amount that wasn't really even a necessity or an investment. So due to that reason, I decided to make 2019 my no clothing buying year. I did buy a pair of pants and a jacket in March. However, I haven't purchased anything else before or after that. This is really an improvement on myself. I used to buy clothes almost every week. I was always browsing websites and going to the mall and spending on clothes that look pretty similar to what I already own. Sometimes I would even forget what clothes I already had in my closet and I would just purchase something very very similar. One time I even bought the exact same pair of jeans from Forever 21 and at the time I couldn't return it because the second pair of jeans that I purchased was already on sale and Forever 21 doesn't accept any products that were purchased on sale. Another expense that I reduced significantly this year was my eating out budget. Before I reduced that particular expense and gave myself a limit, some weekends I was spending over $100 on meals and drinks. Nowadays I do give myself a budget. I have a $30 budget per weekend which I don't have to spend. So if I don't spend it in one weekend, I can always add it to the next weekend spending for that particular category. This makes me feel a little bit better when, for example, I don't go out at all two weekends in a row and then on the third weekend we decide to go all out and maybe have a fancier dinner than normal. So at which point I can use whatever I didn't spend on the previous weekend on that third weekend. This helps me stay on track. When I sacrifice a category on some weeks, I can always add it to the next week for that same category or perhaps another one. It's all about managing yourself. You decide what the rules are. You decide what your budget will be. A third tip on how to save more money every month is to make every purchase with purpose. Whenever you need to purchase something, even if it's a very small thing, really think about how much use you're gonna get out of it from the get-go, how often you're gonna use it, and of course, don't forget to compare prices. Nowadays with the internet, you can search any item that you want on different websites and compare who has the best price for you. Look at reviews for products because that does help to know if you're buying a quality product. It's always best to buy a product that will actually serve its purpose. You don't want to buy something that's going to break within the first use or so. Even if you're buying a small thing such as a hammer, try to see what your needs are. If you're a carpenter, of course you're going to be a better quality hammer than let's say me. I barely use a hammer, I sometimes needed it to hang a couple of picture frames and that's it. If you're a carpenter, you would need to use it on pretty much a daily basis. So you would need to invest a little bit more on the quality of the hammer that you're purchasing. For myself, after many times of realizing that I didn't a hammer when I needed it the most, 
almost at home, I decided to make a very simple purchase at Ikea. It came with a hammer, a couple of other useful tools that I can use at home, and that was it for me. So really think about yourself, the product that you're about to purchase. Compare the prices of that product and give yourself some time before you go and buy it. For example, if you're making a dish for the first time and somebody on the YouTube video that you're watching making that recipe that you want to make is using a very fancy kitchen tool that you don't own, don't go and buy that product because you want to make this one recipe one time. If perhaps in the future you realize that you're making this recipe quite a lot and you think about the product that you saw on the YouTube video and you do your proper research and you compare prices and you feel like you would use it more than enough to get back the money that you're paying for it, then go ahead and buy it. Always give yourself some time, compare the prices of every product that you purchase, and really think about how much use you're gonna get of every product that you purchase. Even if a product is a dollar, really get the mentality that you shouldn't be throwing away any money. The fourth tip on how to save more money every month is to have a portion of your check automatically go into a high yield savings account. We all have bills every month. We have our phone bills, power bills, our rent. These are fixed expenses. So let's think about our savings as a fixed expense. I know that if you're not used to saving, having $100, $200, half of your paycheck might be a little bit difficult to do at first, but you have to get into the mindset that you have to pay yourself. Your savings are an investment in yourself. Whatever it is that you wanna do with the money, ultimately, you need to start by putting it away. And the best way that I found how to do this is by thinking of your savings as another bill. I personally started with about $200 going to my savings every month from my paycheck. So you can do this in different ways. At the company that I currently work, as well as the previous company that I work for, we could go into the system and tell our check where to go as soon as we would get paid. So for example, right now, I have 50% of my paycheck every two weeks go into my savings account. If this seems to be a little bit too much for you right now, you can start with $100 every paycheck or $100 every month, whatever is reasonable for you. However, don't get stuck with that amount. That's not a very large amount. So maybe give yourself two months just to get used to the idea of having some money put away. And after you've gone through what expenses you're gonna cut out, budgeting and always purchasing things with a purpose, go ahead and see what extra money you can put into your savings account. Think of it as paying your future self. Your future self will definitely be very happy that you're putting money away in case of an emergency of any plans that you might have in the future. Don't forget, don't touch this money for anything. Of course, you can use it if there is a very crucial emergency, but really classify your emergencies as true emergencies. For example, if you get into an accident and your insurance doesn't cover whatever you need to get fixed, then go ahead and use that money that you saved up. You'll be very happy at the time and have a lot of peace of mind knowing that you have a little bit stored away in case of any emergencies. However, things like buying a big plasma TV or going on a vacation is not an emergency. Separate those kind of expenses into a different budget. Things that you see coming are not an emergency. For example, you know that your car needs to have its registration renewed every single year. That's not an emergency. You should be budgeting for stuff like that. Christmas happens every year. If you have a certain budget that you want to spend on, plan it ahead of time. Start getting used to the idea that savings are a crucial part of becoming responsible adults. Your future self will definitely be very happy to know that your current self is planning for the future. My fifth and final tip to saving more money every month is to stay inspired. I think in general, there are a lot of things that people want to do. Sometimes you set goals for yourself, but life gets in the way. Don't get discouraged. And when you do get discouraged, get into the habit of reading, listening, or finding content that will inspire you to keep on saving. I am constantly listening to podcasts and YouTube videos about finances. I used to not know anything about money. Unfortunately, my parents didn't really teach me about this topic. But nowadays, with the technology that we have, we can all find the information that we're searching for online. So use the internet for your own self-development. Stop watching YouTube videos about makeup looks or video games for at least an hour a day and try to find something that's gonna help you self-develop. I love listening to Dave Ramsey's videos. I always feel like listening to other people tell their stories about their finances really helps me push myself to be better. 
I don't know about you, but when I hear about someone's struggles in life and how they overcame them, it really pushes me to try harder every single day. Sometimes we don't learn or listen right away. So it's very useful to keep listening to that type of content. That way it really gets ingrained in our minds. We have to invest in ourselves, invest in our knowledge, invest in our education, and invest in our self-development. Don't wait until tomorrow, start today, start a budget, Try to really think about where all of your money is going and really prioritize your savings. You will be very happy when you see how much money you can put away by just following these five tips. Working is hard. Sometimes many of us don't like where we work. Maybe we don't like our co-workers. Working takes away time from our loved ones, maybe from doing something that we are actually passionate about. So if you're working that hard, make it count. None of us should have to be living paycheck to paycheck. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found any of this information helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. And if you don't mind, please let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips on saving money. I would really appreciate it. I'm always trying to grow and I'm pretty sure anybody who might stumble upon this video might find your information helpful. I'll see you on my next video guys. Bye!